happening, everyone? Welcome back to another day of AI and Crypto Week. Amazing, amazing stuff you can do with this machines, with these machines, the machines learning, the AIs, all that stuff. Welcome back, everyone. I'm excited. This is going to be, I think, a big day, a very useful uh, amount of jam-packed gems that we're going to put in this one and just really teach you a lot of cool stuff you can do. I put the thread in the chat. Feel free to check that out. I got a ton of examples, a lot of stuff I'll be going over today. But just let me pull it up. Let me let me say hi to the chat real quick and then we'll get into it. What's up, Fasto? I need your clothes, your boots, your mask. You make me want to watch Terminator again, Terminator 2 specifically. We know that's the uh the uh <laughs> the real Terminator. <laughs> uh great movie. What's up, Red Squirrel? Good to see you. Number five. Um uh, yeah, Yoko, how's it going? Francis Powell, Tex Hex, what's up? Chat, the muscle man, the muscle man's here. He's like, you know what? If I'm going to be, you know, one with uh, the robots, if, if the robots, if I'm going to have to get a robotic arm, it's going to be the strongest freaking army ever saw. That's how I imagine his response would be to becoming uh, the integration of man and machine. What's up? A lesson. Hopefully I pronounced that somewhat correctly. How's it going? Extra T-shares. I think except one with pull chain. All right. Yep, that, uh, that was the thing that happened. I think I talked about it yesterday, I believe, as well. Anyways, how's it going, everyone? Um, we're going to get into it. Jam-packed, going to go for about 45 minutes. Let's start off again. I put it in the chat. This is the thread. I've been adding all the AI stuff that I've been doing for the past week. I've been adding all these examples with videos and how to create websites and you know different uh, references and stuff. So this is your go-to um thread for um, just catching up either uh, after after the stream during the replay or otherwise uh, diagrams and stuff like that too so I'm, I got a, I got a lot to cover so first of all again if you don't have chat GPT go register an account get it if you want premium which is going to give you access to a lot of different GPTs other GPTs in the marketplace which I heavily recommend I use a lot kind of essential 20 bucks a month better than Netflix I maintain that. And it is, uh, I'll just put it in the, in the uh, link here. <clears throat> and I'll get the questions in just a minute. But yeah, ChatGPT is the primary tool I've been using. There's a lot of other tools. I've been going through a lot of different videos to find different stuff. But the GPT on it, fantastic. Uh, also, yeah, I got a question here on perplexity. It is awesome, uh, Yoko, by the way. I'm not sure if you found me through uh, perplexity. And talk about it or not, but um, I think it's awesome. And I think the GPTs to the question, what do you think about perplexity versus GPT web search? I like perplexity. So there's, there's trade offs. So perplexity, and again, I'll, I'll just, uh, I have perplexity, I'll just pull up perplexity. I want to show you the, the, I'll save the demo I was doing within a minute, but it's really cool. So it's also 20 bucks a month. And there's also a free version. There's different stuff too. But again, if I'm going to use, I'm going to pay for it because I want the best experience with it. It's just, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to commit to something, I'm not going to use the free version. I want to use like, give me the best version you got of it. So also 20 bucks a month. The difference I like between the two, and if you put them side by side, you can see this is GPT. This is perplexity. From what I understand, perplexity uses GPT's engine. And I think it just limits the amount of queries you can do something like that. So I think it actually does use GPT, but I do like the interface. What I like about it is when you ask it questions, it'll give you answers. Like, let's say, what is pulse chain? And it'll actually search the web automatically and it'll give you references and videos and pictures and uh, all that stuff where with chat GPT, it just won't do that by default. Like for example, if you ask it here, what is pulse chain? It'd probably be like, Oh, my, my data cuts off after 2023. Yeah, or maybe maybe they yeah improved it, but it will give you this. This is the response you're going to get with ChatGPT. It'll give you just like a breakdown of all these things. But here, it's like which one do you like better? I think I like this one better. I like this inch better. Not only breaks down all the stuffs, and gives me references. It gives me links to stuff uh, too. It gives me pictures. It, um, it just it's just like a nicer little interface. Uh, again, sources, it cites sources. Uh, what it doesn't do, it doesn't do, I don't think it generates images. So obviously, you know, GPT can do that, which we'll get into. And what else? 
every once in a while it won't do something that I that I, I can't remember. That's the biggest two difference. So I like the interface. I just just started using it yesterday. Just talked about it yesterday. But I, so far, I like the interface better overall. But I can't do everything with it, so I still need GPT to do stuff. And it has all the stuff built in. It doesn't have all the GPTs that ChatGPT does. So if I want to go, uh, ChatGPT has all these GPTs. Again, custom versions uh, that you can like train and do all this stuff. A lot of companies have been investing in it and uh, making their own. And we're going to go into a lot of those today for content generation. But it doesn't have this, which I can, you can make custom versions of to do it. So I like them both. Uh, I'm going to keep using them both. But there's just some trade-offs. And I don't think I'm... One doesn't do everything I need to do. And perplexity, yeah, I'm just going to keep using both for now. But I really like them. And... Um, so perplexity.ai is really good. And even for this, you can see, um, you know, it gives you, gives you some ideas uh, for, for what people are looking for. I typed in like, what is a t-shirt? And it showed me a picture of Ben Dubar doing a video <laughs> and stuff too. So it's just pretty cool. Anyways, content generation though. There are a few different things for content generation I want to go over. And uh, we'll get into videos too. But... I really want to talk about, you know, let's start with memes. I think this is pretty cool. So one thing I like is, I think, let's see. So again, the different GPTs is a killer feature for chat GPT for sure. So we got video maker. I wanted to do, I'll show you some videos I made. I was doing some practice last night, uh, but image generator, I think it's really cool. So image generator, if you just go to like, I'm searching GPTs, I just search image gen generator is the first one, 4 million plus conversations people have had with it that's, that's like a metric now right conversations and I, I just right click open so i can go back to the gpt thing when i need to but this is pretty cool so i'll drop in the chat if you're following along yeah that's a good point yeah free version perplexity replaces google yeah i i could see that if you're not using you know gpt um for like other stuff if you just want to replace google i i could see that with perplexity like, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Again, haven't been using it for 24 hours yet, but I really, really like it. So image generator, this is really neat. So if you just want to make a meme, let's just start with memes. Let's say, uh, the other day I did a meme of like McDonald's and stuff. Um, let's see, uh, make, let's do make a meme about picking up pennies in front of freight trains anybody get this reference and make it crypto related two scenes and one guy so specific gives it um context tells it what i want and then image generator is like okay i'll create a meme with two scenes featuring one guy picking up pennies in front of freight trains and crypto here's the setup now again i didn't give it all the information i don't like to i like to just see what it comes up with first but I, don't know, I guess it's like a lazy way of doing it. It's like the one actual term lazy I can use without cringing. I'd be like, okay, this is actually, I, I want to be, give it as least information as possible and get free and give it the most result. But if you spend an extra couple seconds, you can probably make it better. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, had an error that happens sometimes. It's just going to do it again. Sometimes you got to tell it to, sometimes it'll just do it. And it's talking about the scene. And uh, let's see, a man stands in front of a tracks, shiny penny, massive looming freight train called Market Volatility Speed Tour. <laughs> nice. So it's like, okay. Um, hold on. Now it's saying, okay. For some reason, it's like, I can't do it. So whatever. Try again. I don't believe you. Sometimes I'll just be like, no, just you just, you just messed it up. So you know what? I'll even do this. I'll be like, and don't tell me anything just create it another trick i don't want to hear you explain take you know again it's creating all this time just create the image if you guys notice i like to do things at a very like optimized fast pace i'm like i, I once i know what's going on i don't need a bunch of extra information unless i actually wanted to teach me something then you know please elaborate it's so a different different times i want to sit here and learn from it I want it to teach me something, and so, but most of the time I just want it to give me something. 
All right. So here's the first one. So, you know, it, by the way, if you say crypto, it always no, it all that's it's kind of annoying. And if, if I say don't put any crypto logos on it, just make it about crypto, it'll still put you, you can't tell it not to do stuff sometimes. It, it, that's kind of annoying. I'll say, man, just create something crypto related. You can use other things. Just don't put any logos in it because I always use Bitcoin and I'm not like in the Bitcoin community, I, you know, so I I guess you can just replace it. You can just do a quick edit and stuff yourself. But I do that sometimes. I'll generate stuff and I'll go edit it myself. I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you did a really good image, but you put the wrong logo on it and I can't get you to remove it. And I know you can't do it again. So I'll just replace it with my own logo. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So anyways, now the guy's crossing, he's, he's picking up a penny, which is a Bitcoin penny apparently, in front of a freight train, market volatility. So it's kind of like, okay, kind of get the joke. I don't know. Now let's, and again, you can just keep iterating on it or I can just edit. So sometimes I just edit, sometimes I iterate. Um, so there's no point in like me writing about it again. I'll just edit and be like, okay. Um, so I'll make this separate. And then I'll say, and make the moral of the story that you shouldn't chase shiny objects or do low ROI stuff but invest in products that have greatest hits right greatest hits product market fit best founder and price go up so let's see what it comes up with and you can't get it to create i was talking about this yesterday you can't get it to create the same thing every time which is annoying like literally if i said this again it would create something different you can't get it to you can't say the same thing and let it create the same thing it's just doesn't i'm sure there'll be some some new tools again everything we do today in a year from now it's gonna it's gonna suck relatively speaking so as of now you can't just you can't like have a unique id and create that same thing again i'm sure there's some systems where you can but gpd doesn't do it by default so it comes up with here another weird thing it does i, I gotta tell it like no words sometimes because it just writes nonsense on here like it'll just write like not just not words and anyways let's look at the scene so there's, there's a train this person trying to pick up some some stuff that looks kind of crypto related and then there is trying to show a billboard of like um you know if you just i don't know like, it's, again see it doesn't even make sense at this point so it's like all right let me just edit it again and then say no words and then let's just do it again. All right, one more try, one more try. And I'll show you a pretty successful while it's doing that. I'll show you the one I made the other day on like the first try. Yeah, this one, this McDonald's one's actually pretty good. And sometimes I, I all caps to emphasize, it's actually, it's not, I'm not yelling at it, although it kind of looks like it. Um, and maybe it feels like it sometimes. I'm emphasizing. So if you all caps, you are emphasizing, say, hey, make like you're telling it, make sure you pay attention to this if it's actually gonna, you know, that's what it's, it's to work out that way so oops where were we where were we this one i don't know if you guys ran into this by the way if you don't focus on the window sometimes it'll delay generating too which is annoying but okay so now we got um kind of more interesting i don't know you guys kind of play with it where it's like you found the right one and you're not like about to get hit by a train kind of like that so Anyways, the meme stuff is, it, it's, you know, you kind of got to play with it, but I think uh, it's only going to get better, I'll say too. And you can, again, use different keywords to make sure you avoid a lot of dumb dumb uh, first tries by not letting it use words because it'll just mess it up and all that stuff half the time. So, again, this is one, use McDonald's, create a meme where a guy can't wait any longer for crypto price to go up, sells early, wants to buy back. Actually, let me prove a point. Let me put this in GPT again and see what it actually generates. Because remember I said it'll be different. If you have any questions, put, it, put them in the chat along the way. I'll get to them as I can. Waiting, waiting. See what this one does, then we'll move on to. Uh, I mean, we got thumbnails, we got a lot of cool stuff. 
So see, totally different than what I created the first time using the exact same prompt. Pretty sure that was the same prompt. And this one is, uh, so again, create a meme where a guy can't wait longer to process the sales goes back early. Uh, he goes back to his job at McDonald's without, okay. So yeah, kind of sucks. I should have said no words on this again. Um, I know I said not using any words. See, even when you tell it, it still uses words sometimes, but anyways, you get the point. So that's, that's memes. Now let's try to do, uh, let's say we want to, uh, I want to generate something cool, but with the pulse chain logo stuff, we actually might use perplexity for this. So tell me the gradient for pulse chain logo. So I'm trying to get the colors for pulse chain logo stuff. Now I'm not sure. I actually never tried to do this before. So I'm not sure it'll actually be able to find it. Sometimes I can give it, I can upload one and it'll take it. See this one is kind of just searching and can't find it. Um, let me see. But it's asked the same thing. I wonder if Chat GPT will actually download it. See this one, I'm doing an image generator, but it actually does a, a uh, it has access to GPT stuff too. So even though I'm asking a general question. Um, yeah, so this one, sometimes, all right, give me just a sec. I'm gonna download, I'm gonna go to Pulse Chain. I'll just stop the screen for a second in case I have to do something off screen. I'm gonna actually download the logo off the website. Well, I'm gonna go find the logo, Pulse Chain logo. I'm gonna download it and then upload it to GPT. And then we're gonna see Okay, let's slow down. Okay, let's try again. So I'm gonna upload it and then say, tell me the gradients in this logo. So I've given a pulse chain logo. I'm trying to figure out the gradients. I wish it would give me the actual color codes. Give me the color. Give me the color codes. Okay, so now it's better. I can't do it, but color pick. Yeah, I know image color paper. There's gotta be a GPT that can do this. Let me go back. So color picker. Let's see if there's like something like that. <clears throat> color theory. Hmm. Image analyzer. Describes images with accuracy and detail worth a try. So let's try image image analyzer. And then I will again, one sec. Okay. So tell me the color codes for this image. Oh my gosh, you're gonna you're gonna make me go somewhere else. Come on, GPT. Okay, what did it say before? It said it appears to be a vibrant magenta like cover, so you can go to Color Picker or whatever and upload it and do all this stuff. But I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna call. It. I'm just gonna use the words. Color codes are just like more accurate and more like uh, you know precise and stuff. Let's just say. Now that we have some sort of color scheme, right? So we'll say generate 
a whale on the moon. This is me creating thumbnails. Um, with color scheme and then paste that in vibrant magenta color moving in, in the settling at that and in th YouTube thumbnail format so with let's do like green laser eyes or something Very welcome, Paul. Appreciate that. Are you on the chat? Are you following along? Are you doing like stuff with me? I'm curious. Like if you're, let me know if you get stuck at certain points or have specific questions. It's just kind of a working session of like me, uh, image generation. I'm gonna show you about videos. Uh, I'll talk about websites again, how to create those really quickly. But I kind of want to give you an idea of like how I'm working on this stuff too. Like what, what I'm thinking the different tools I'm using, the different ways of, um, okay, if I get stuck, what do I do after that? Failure is not an option. Only, uh, only alternatives. Only got to figure it out. So let's see what it comes up with. That's actually not a bad one. I mean, it is not in that format. I don't know why I didn't do a full thumbnail format, but the image itself, not that bad. That could be, that could totally be a thumbnail. I might actually use that. So again, if it just be like, oh, I'm just not gonna do what you say, make, uh, let's see, resize it into YouTube thumbnail size. And you can get specific if it's, I don't know what it's going to say, but you could be like, you could look up the thumbnail size and actually give it the pixel stuff. Yeah, 1280 by 720. No, you can do it. You do it all the time. Why can't you do it? Okay. I'm just going to edit this and be like, and just add that in and see what happens. So bad thing about it, it's going to remember, it doesn't remember this stuff. So it's going to create something completely different. So I'm just trying to, I don't know why I didn't do it. Cause that's literally my phrase. I don't have it in front of me, but it's like basically saying that whatever I want in a color scheme, I got the color codes and stuff and then make it in a YouTube thumbnail format. I don't even, I don't say the size. Yeah. AIs. So it takes about yeah, about up to 30 seconds or so to create it. And there's faster ones. There's uh, I mean, I use some different services for thumbnails and stuff too. But the GPT one's pretty probably I mean, pretty good for in general for stuff, the different GPTs. And this is just one, this is just the image generator. There you go. Why didn't you do it the first time, right? I asked you. But think, thankfully to you, that's an even better one. Very cool. So you see, quality thumbnail right there. You just got to ask it, you know, again, the right questions. For me, I have a script. I'll like copy this and then I'll take out, you know, for example, what I do, I'll copy this and then take, put it in a text document or, or Google Doc or whatever. And I'll take out, I'll do generate and then I'll take out the, you know, maybe I'll just do a place marker like what I want here. And then I'll just copy this. And cause you're going to use the same thing every time. If you, if you want the same colors and you want the, um, you know, the YouTube thumbnail format and all that, and I'll just copy this and then I'll paste it in the prompt. And then I'll take this out and replace it with whatever I want, you know, like, you know, wh whatever it is, shark with diamond eyes and shooting fire whatever, you know, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you think is interesting for whatever thumbnail you're trying to generate for, for the, for the stream or the video or whatever it is. So there's actually a really good thumbnail. Like I'm, I'm going to download and use it actually at some point. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Um, 
So that's thumbnail. And again, you can see it's, it's pretty good quality. You got a whale, you got the moon, you got lasers, you got, you know, um, yeah, I would totally use this for a stream. It's, it's pretty cool. You never know. That'll be, that'll be one coming up. So that's thumbnails. Uh, we got themes, thumbnails. You can just generate pictures in general. Uh, like you said, play with the image generator. Otherwise let's move on to videos though. So this one I did last night. So I used video GPT and let me, uh, yeah, and this is with Veed. So there's different services that plug into this stuff too. So I'll put this in the chat. So with Veed, all I did was create a video on PulseX with the following key points. And all what I did was I went to PulseX.com and I just control A, it means select all. I just copied everything here and I pasted it into here. This is, this is just control A and then copy and pasted it. Copy, paste, pasted what was on there, create a video, paste it on there. And then it said, uh, based on your detailed information, here's a draft of a 20 second video that, you know, talks about its advantages and stuff. Pulse X for revolutionized trades, trading on pulse, uh, pulse chain, all this stuff. I'm like, all right. And then, um, you know, it asked before proceeding, would you like to make any adjustments? Do you have any specific avatar or voice preference? And I was like, no, just make it. I literally did this in like a minute, two minutes, maybe. I just opened up G video GPT. I opened up pulsex.com. I asked the question or I, I made the statement, create the video. I pasted in the information, didn't do any more research. I'm like, yeah, it's probably it'll come up with something. And then I said, no, just make it. And a couple minutes later, after that, so maybe five minutes in total, after like waiting two minutes for it to generate it, on Veed, I now have this video. And we can play it and you can export it, you can download it, whatever. And you can't hear it right now, but it's just her, this default AI person, and you can change it to whatever, whatever you want, whatever kind of person you're thinking. Um, but it automatically does the subtitles. It automatically did all the pictures. I didn't do anything. I mean, and then you can edit it. You can, uh, go to settings and you can change, uh, you can like clean up the audio. You can do the subtitles. You can change the subtitles. You can update them. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. And this is just the, the default video. And then when you're done, you can like export and download it. And yeah, literally if I do the export video, it'll take me to a page. And if you, know, if you want to pay for it or whatever, it'll remove the watermark. But this, and now it's rendering the video. So this is like, took me two minutes to make, two or three minutes to generate for it to generate. And then now I'm just waiting to download this video for a promo video for PulseX that I just made. And this is like the quickest possible way to do it. And I didn't do any art. I did, it did everything itself. So it's it's just like I, when I first saw this, it just blew my mind. I was like, wow, that is amazing. That is like you can. This is so good for content creation because you can just create these videos. You can put them on YouTube. You can put them on social media, wherever. And you can promote, you know, the, the coins and things you like doing that. So oh, any chance you can cough button when you press the drink so we don't hear the liquid make it down here. Oh God, I know. Like after upgrading the mic, you can hear uh, more more mouth noises and stuff too. I have I do hit the button when I cough, but uh, when I take a drink, sure I'll, I'll try to maybe maybe I'll do that more often too. Appreciate the comment though. Anyways, um, yeah, just create a video and then it has a little yeah, all this stuff. So you can do so that one, and then there's also Video Maker. So these are the two best ones I found. There's video, there's the Veed, uh, Video GPT by Veed. And then there's Video Maker by NVIDIA. So this one, let's just make one from scratch. Let's be like, uh, let me do like, we should go to hex.com. Again, I'll show you. And all I'm going to do, control A, because I know, oops, actually can't control A on here. Let's go to how it works in control A. Yeah. How it works. Um, but it didn't do all this. Well, I wonder if it'll, actually, I'm going to open all these to see if I can copy them. Gosh, this is like a lot of information too. Security, wax special. Let's just see if it does that. Okay, it does highlight. All right, just the top part. You can go through and open all these if you want. But let's say, make a video promoting hex.com 
with this information. And all I'm gonna do is paste it. I just went to hex.com, went to how it works, opened a bunch of tabs, pasted it in. And now video makers are creating video on the topic you provided. It creates an, uh, involves crafting a narrative. So it'll make the script, it'll make the narrative. And it's, you know, starting to uh, just come up with its own thing here. And around a minute long, the other one was like 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so. Yoko, can you, can't you just ask AI to copy all the text? Well, I'm on a different page, so I'm, I'm on a website here. So I guess, I guess the question is, can, can I ask ChatGPT, where are we at? Can I ask ChatGPT to go to the website and copy it? You can, but it doesn't always, it's a good question. It doesn't work that well, at least right now, unless you do like a web, if you know, I, I'll, uh, I used WebPilot the other day. It just doesn't, it's just not a seamless part of the flow right now. So probably the future, but like right now, I don't think it works so well. So we just do it separately, but it's not, I mean, open another tab and copy and paste and stuff is to me a very, a very basic manual thing to do. Again, it may be automated in the future where I can just tell it, copy all the text from hex.com, but yeah, I don't think it works right now. So again, it came up with this whole story, uh, which approach do you prefer in the video? Any additional information you like to include? I'm just, just for now, I mean, you can read this and, and go through it. I'm like, nope, no, make it. So let's see what it makes. You'll go link it in the web search. Yeah, I don't think it'll, uh, I can try it, but I don't think it will. We'll try it though. So now it's creating the video. It's talking to a service in the back end. It's talking to NVIDIA, like their servers and stuff. That's how this stuff works. It'll talk to their servers. They basically like enable these services. Yeah, it's going to ask. I want to talk to it. And they can they can integrate with ChatGPT to, again, th to then push data over there for what you're trying to do to make the video and then give you a link to it. And that's what it did. So I uh, click here. Video is being generated. I click there. I'll go to AI.NVIDIA. It'll take me to this workspace. I've already registered. If, it, if you don't register, it'll ask you, uh, please register all the stuff. And right now it's analyzing, it's generating it. Let's just try real quick. Um, make the script read from hex.com and copy all relevant facts. See what it says. Crafting a script that pulls relevant facts from hex.com would be and it would look something like this. Is it, hopefully it's not giving me a script about pulling data from hex.com. Unless this is actually, I don't know, did it already do it? Should I create a new session? Yeah, I don't know if this is playing off the old session or not. So I'm gonna copy and yeah, good, good point. I'm just gonna do, so this video maker, I just do a new chat. Make a script read from hex.com, copy all relevant facts to promote hex crypto. What's up, Tam Tam? Welcome, welcome. Yep, since I can't browse the internet ex access internal sites directly, I'll, I'll take approach in general knowledge cryptocurrencies. Yeah, so basically it can't. That's what I was thinking it might do. So now we know, cool. So back to this one. It is uh, preparing the scenes, adding the media, I mean, Guys, this is this is pretty cool, right? Generating videos for you. Again, this is uh, so paying for ChatGPT Premium gives you access to the GPTs. Okay. Oh, it doesn't play. It doesn't play on this browser. Okay, normally it would show you a preview, but I'm just click. Uh, I'll click export. And again, if you do a paid plan, it'll. Let's see. Yeah, so now it's rendering. Anyways, uh, pay for GPT Premium. It'll give you access to all the other GPTs and stuff and web browsing and a bunch of different features. And then it's free to generate these, but then if you want to generate them without watermarks and stuff, then you got to pay you know, for their service. So it depends on how much you use it. You, know, you kind of got to weigh that. It is cool to generate videos without watermarks. So maybe if your thing is, I'm just going to generate a bunch of videos and content and Obviously, it's worth paying for it because I'm going to do that. Then you can do that. So here it is. You can't hear it, but 
it's like a British voice, I think. So I gave it nothing but copy and paste hex.com and created this whole video. So it's basically just reading the script, talking about with Hex, you're not just saving money, you're the bank. Let's see. Tell me if this link works, I'm gonna share the link. Let me know in the chat if you can uh, click that link and watch it. I'm not sure if you can. Oh, public available to any anonymous user? Yeah, yeah, it should work then. And it actually pronounces hex right. You know what? The other one I had to tell it pronounce hex with H E C K S, but this one knows it's actually saying it correctly. It's, it's saying hex, but some of them don't. Some of them are like H E X and stuff like that. Sweet. Are you not entertained? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we did videos. Uh, again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep rolling. We did videos because I got well, I got about ten minutes left. So I'm gonna get your questions if you have them because I I uh, got to wrap up about ten minutes. But we did videos. We did memes. We did um, thumbnails. Let's do websites real quick, just because that's that's an easy one. So, um, yeah, Grimoire is pretty awesome. So this one I'll put in the chat. I did it yesterday too. You can go by and check it out, but I just did like a basic one. So literally check this out. Let's do, let's see. Yeah, let's do hex again. I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste hex in here. Let's see where are we at. Okay. Make a website and deploy it, promoting Hex Crypto and link to Hex.com. Make the website have this information. And before I paste it in there, I'm going to add a color scheme to Well, actually, I'm just going to paste and then scroll all the way back up and then Use color scheme. Uh, we're just going to say like, because uh, I don't know the color. What, what told me the colors before? After I uploaded them. All right, I'm just going to say like pink and orange and yellow. I'm just going to say that just to make it quick. And let's see, use color scheme and gradient from... Uh, what is it? Let's see, from yellow to orange to red, red, pink, red slash pink. There we go. So I told you, make a website, promoting hex, link to hex.com, use a color scheme, and get the information. I just copy and paste it. That's all, that's all I gave it. it. Took me, what, 30 seconds? One minute? And Grimoire's like, boom, I got you. Again, we are deploying a website with 30 seconds worth of information. And I should have told it to not tell me about it, just do it like I did earlier. Just do it. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. Today, just do it. It's going to, uh, yeah, it's telling me a bunch of stuff I, I don't care about. It's just explaining the concept and stuff like that, explaining what it's going to look like and give me some HTML code. But I really just want to deploy it because, um, you know, yeah, you feel free to, to, to type in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let it go through. But when I, if I was doing this on, on, on my computer, I would be like, and don't explain anything, just do it. And it wouldn't, and it would not give me all this stuff, which it looks cool, but again, it's just taking time. 
because it's going to do everything anyway. It's not like it's going to write it out and then do it. I mean, I guess it could, but it's going to do it much faster without having to display it on screen for me where I can read it. All right. W, continue. Do it. Again, this, these features, these GPTs are available with premium. So again, 20 bucks a month. Better Netflix, baby. I'm going to keep it up. Better Netflix. Better than Netflix. You do stuff like this. I'll show you one more thing about perplexity before we wrap up too. It's pretty cool. You can create charts and stuff too. All right, it's gonna sit there for a minute and then I guess I can, I guess I can give it a break because it is actually deploying infrastructure stuff. Sort of. All right. It's going to be deleted in one hour to claim and preserve this. You got to do this URL and probably register and stuff like that. But let's check it out. Whoa. Create a website. You guys can go to it. I'm going to put it in the chat. Check out this website. It just created in like, what, two minutes? Two and a half minutes. 30 seconds for me to just type it in and two minutes for it to generate it, which I could have just said do it faster. Probably could be one minute. Unlock the potential of your money with Hex, revolutionary blockchain TD, you know, and then join Hex today. You click this, it goes to Hex.com. Boom, baby. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. So, yeah, you can go here and claim it. Otherwise, it'll be deleted because, you know, they don't want everyone to take up all the space and all that stuff. So, yeah, websites. Um, what else? Again, I'm just trying to get a couple. Big, biggest bang for buck for you guys right now. Um. Yeah, let's do perplexity real quick. So this was pretty cool. So yesterday I was playing with it and it's like changed. Like, I don't know why it wouldn't generate the same stuff for me later yesterday, but I just went to perplexity and said, get data on the top 10 DEXs in DeFi, including PulseX, create a table of key metrics and price today versus all time lows and percent increases. And again, you may have to look at this information see if it's correct. You may have to like fact check it a little bit because it, it can probably pull from different directions and may misunderstand stuff, but pretty cool. I made a table with the top 10 DEXs. Pulsex included, talked about the all-time high, the current price, percent from all-time low, um, you know, the TVL, 24-hour volume, pretty cool. And then, yeah, I was just basically like just working with it. Like, hey, make sure the increase is accurate. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. And then I said also add, um, add percentage up from all-time low to all-time high and remove the current price. And it made the modifications. And you can see like a bunch of different stuff here. Pretty neat. I mean, yeah, this is like content. You can, you could just copy, you could just clip this, like just this screenshot, make that into an infographic. Again, make sure it's accurate. Again, this is like the AI it doesn't, it doesn't, maybe it gets confused and stuff. Sometimes, you know, you want to make sure all the numbers are accurate. So you get a fact check it or ask it for sources and, and chase those down. But this is like easy content. You can just be like, create similar content like this images, post them on Instagram, post them on YouTube or on uh, Twitter wherever and show people like, you know, like make it work. You can show potential, right? Like where PulseX, you know, hasn't went up that much, doesn't have that much volume, doesn't have much TBL compared to a bunch of other its competitors. So I thought that was pretty cool. So Perplexity did that and GPT, let's see, let me just put the same thing in GPT and see how it responds because it doesn't do quite a good job on automatic web searches sometimes. And then just, uh, I don't know. I think perplexity is better at certain stuff, but let's see. Yeah, I, I'll say the same thing here. And it is doing, you know, some it's doing some research. You can see it's, it is actually given references now. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen GPT used, to, I knew they were probably gonna start doing it, but it gives us references to where it's getting data to. Let's see if it actually makes a table. Yeah, it doesn't create the table. I asked it to and it just didn't do it. Create a table. <laughs> but it's, uh, that's what I'm saying. I think perplexity has uh, got some advantages here and the interfaces just looks a little nicer in some ways too. 
So that was cool. And then, yeah, ask your questions. If you got, got any questions, get them in because I'm going to wrap up here in a second. I think fact checking yourself before I make a tweet sometimes and I'm not sure about something or if I'm like, oh, that, you know, this person could use some more information about this topic. I'll like fact check myself about certain stuff, which is pretty cool. So I could just be like, oh, actually, the all time high price of Bitcoin was seventy three thousand dollars. You know, let's say this is let's say this is my response, my reply to some tweet. And then I'll be like, okay, fact check this. So, and it's like, okay, Bitcoin is accurate. And then you also be like, um, I think liquidity doesn't matter as much for price go up in DeFi. And actually, TBL is a better indicator. I'm just saying, like, just stuff is a better indicator. And say, so is this the right context? Does it make sense? Yes, feel free to catch replay, gang, if you just, uh, just couldn't catch it till now. And it'll be like the statement you, you've shared touches on two key concepts. Both are important indicators, but they serve different purposes. And they'll like be like, okay, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Basically, that's what it's saying. Um, so it'll and it so it'll actually break down what is liquidity, what does it mean, what is TVL, what does it mean? And this and then it'll actually quote like saying TVL is a better indicator for profit movements, simplifies a complex interaction of factors. Um, and then you could be like, make it make sense. Again. And then it'll be like this. Uh oh, I should have said, make it make, make change what I, I said to make sense, same context. And it'll give you, it'll tell you like a better way of saying it even. Yeah. So it'd be like, okay, this is like a more intelligent way of talking about it. And again, this is supposed to like help you learn and understand. And like, again, don't say like avoid saying stupid stuff when you like, if you don't really know, why not fact check yourself, right? Create better content, create better trust, you know, all that stuff too. Nobody's perfect, but we got tools that can help with that stuff, kind of stuff. Or you can be like, change what I said to make it better. Using similar amount of words. Again, gotta, gotta feed it. Still pretty long. Keep it under 20 words. There you go. You got it. it kind of takes a couple tries, but there you go. DeFi liquidity is crucial. TVL is strong. Signal user trust, price performance, and growth. And even that, I'm like, yeah, even that sounds like kind of general and more complicated. But again, let's say keep it under 20 words. Anyways. You can use it to learn liquidity. You can use it to uh, learn other stuff. Um, again, another cool thing I came across was Lex, uh, Leah, Leah picks. So you can take a picture and make it move and stuff. That was pretty cool. So um, I'll just drop it in the chat. You can check that out if you want to, if you miss Richard live streaming, you want to take a picture and make it look like he's thinking for a moment. He's thinking. He's thinking about the, the amazing glory price go up. Thinking, thinking, thinking. No expectations, but he's thinking in this picture. Um, that's a few. Th and then I guess the only other thing I'll touch on real quick is diagrams, which is really cool. And you guys can just check this out as an example. But using whim whimsical diagrams to, I did this. It took me a while. It, it took me a while to like get this breakdown pretty well. And I had to like say, okay, make sure to change this, do this a little bit different. But I actually created a Uniswap V2 versus V3 comparison, which I think is pretty interesting and like actually useful to break it down for people learning 
the differences in the trade process, liquidity provisioning, the slippage, the, like the fee structure, capital efficiency, advantages for price movement, you know, stuff like that. So that's just the, if you go to support GPTs, type in whimsical, just wham, it'll pull up. Yeah, you can do this for anything. And, you know, you can just be like, um, visualize um, staking stable coins, something like that. If you're like, I don't know how this stuff works. And it will, it'll start doing like a flow chart, for example, and you can tell it to do different ways of visualizing. If you don't like it, like a lot of times it'll come up with something. I'm like, ah, I, you can do better than that. Or that's not the best way to visualize it. Like, I don't, I don't like that. You can come up with different, uh, different ways of looking at it. And again, super quick here and you can iterate on it too. So it'll give you the thumbnail. See, this is, I don't like the, I don't like the traditional flow chart stuff. It's just like, eh, it's just too much going on, too big, too clunky. I like like a single picture deal, but it does make sense. Like start, choose Debcoin, choose staking platform. It's platform trusted. Let's say modify, let's see, visualize it a different way. Again, you don't have to spell everything correctly and focus on uh, curve finance, for example. And it'll be like, this will help highlight the interactions, stable coins on curve finance, interactions between the interactions between the user, curve finance and other entities. And let's see what it comes up with. And it, so it created staking stable coins on curve finance. And so now you can kind of understand like the, what the interaction is. This is not the best, you know, there could be better different ways of doing it, but at least you were like, okay, user selects the stable coin pool, curve finance tells them the APR, stake stable coins, they get, you know, uh, the, the platform allocates users to pool. Uh, you start earning rewards from the pool. You can claim rewards, you can transfer rewards. So at least you can get a better understanding of like, okay, now in like two minutes, I can see how this platform works. Pretty cool, right? So that's all I got. We went over so many different things, websites and diagrams and thumbnails and videos. And I hope you got at least the one-on-one on all the cool stuff you can do in content creation. Again, go to this link, not this link, go to the main thread. And this is where I have all the list of stuff going on there. Uh, real quick question, Max. You mentioned what risks is in pills farm if you hold like holding both coins. So that would be the pull if you're doing pulse pulse X, for example, that's a common example. If you like holding both coins, you don't care how much coins you get uh, out of either one at the end of it when you uh, pull liquidity out. But that's uh, yeah. So you may get a different number of coins and then but you're earning ink farming at the same time, but it's lowest APR. That's kind of the risk there. But that's what the common way of looking at it is. Check out the yield farming videos uh, to go more in detail. But hopefully that uh, answers your question real quick. So I got for you today. Again, ton of content creation stuff. Uh, I got threads and how to's and like steps. Again, I, I do like a one, two, three step thing. And a lot of these tweets, this is the, 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 the main thread here. Go through all the stuff. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments in the videos or in the, uh, in the comments. Uh, and then tomorrow we got the world of GPT. So I'm going to go through a lot of the different GPTs we did today. Uh, you know, we use whimsical diagrams. I'm just going to go through some of the really cool ones. So there's a lot more. Uh, different cool ones, data analysts and, and different stuff too. So tomorrow it's going to be all about that and show you like really how to like get the most out of this stuff. So anyways, hopefully that was useful. Day two complete, day three coming up. Uh, I'll be going live with Axis uh, soon as well, the next uh, hour or so. Another uh, double header today, a lot of fun stuff. That's all I got for you though. Sci-Vibe and 5555. Five, five, five.